Step one in installing the tunnel ram and two four barrel carburetors is the removal of the original Offenhauser manifold and six two barrel carburetors as well as the magneto from right back there. Okay, there's the intake manifold. Uh, I'll probably detail and clean it up for uh, resale. And the carburetors are sitting here safely on the workbench with all the bolts, the cap of the um, magneto, the magneto, and I was surprised to see they used a brass gear and as you can see the teeth are very worn before I sell this uh, I'll have to replace this gear you can see there's a hollow pin there that's driven out and I'll get a steel one instead of this stinky brass one two of the bolts that held the uh, Offenhauser manifold down to the uh, heads uh, had the bolt recessed way down here in, in this passage and no normal socket wrench could reach it so I had to make kind of a right angle uh, socket here 9 16 so that I could take out that bolt and this one over here but as you can see it was successfully removed and now the miserable task of having to clean and polish the uh, surface here on the head that will mate up with that um, tunnel ram manifold as you can see on the other side before and after the china wall is nice and clean and polished and now I have to come over here and, and do the other side and here is the finished product all assembled uh, plumbed I use copper for the fuel lines. You see they run back here and go to that fuel block that originally fed the six Stromberg 97s. You can see the linkage is progressive. This one goes from the accelerator to the rear carburetor. This rod ties those two carburetors together so they both operate in complete unison. Okay, you're on the just like any four barrel you're on the primaries until the accelerator is pushed hard enough to open the secondaries so you're running on four primaries until you open the secondaries and you're running on eight barrels and things get real exciting when that happens I also polished the valve covers so they would kinda of go along with that scoop I had to get a new water inlet and I like it because it allows the uh, water hose to just make a right angle instead of having to make an S uh, as you can see over here still have the fuel pressure regulator there's the fuel block and uh, no chokes on these okay let me walk around so you get a look at all different angles the scoop doesn't obstruct your vision but you can see it when you're riding we'll go for a ride in a future video but uh, you'll see uh, you can see it out there and it's kinda of fun to watch it wiggle around as the engine torques but that's it okay so it's done and uh, believe me it uh, works perfectly Okay, I was very pleasantly surprised. These are Holly 450s, okay, which are fairly small, but when you put two of them together, that's 900 CFM, which is way more than a 350 needs. So you have to be kind of careful uh, with the gas. You can't step on it too hard, too fast, or you'll overwhelm the engine. But uh, boy, if you uh, once you get to drive it right, uh, the acceleration is just ferocious. Excellent throttle response. I'm very, very pleased and I hope you are too. Also, I know don't you don't need to comment on the single master cylinder. I'm going to replace it in the near future. And for those uh, who engaged in the debate over the manifold vacuum or metered vacuum, on this particular uh, setup, the manifold vacuum works fine for the uh, transmission, but I found that the metered vacuum works best for the vacuum advance. 
Okay, and that's the new Pertronix um, magnetically triggered distributor. It looks old fashioned. Got the window back there to get to the points to set the dwell. Um, but of course there are no points. So it's got that vintage look. And just to prove that cold starts are really not an issue with this, uh, engine now is ice cold. It hasn't been run in several days. Uh, let's see if it'll start up. conclusion and in anticipation of a question I know many people will ask uh, why did I change from the six Stromberg two barrels to the tunnel ram with the two four barrels well recall that I was running just off the two center Strombergs that's four small diameter barrels now I have eight barrels at my disposal and the car to be honest with you runs a whole lot better it's much much faster uh, it isn't anything against the Strombergs. They're just classic uh, carburetors and all. I'm going to set this on the shelf along with the Magneto and maybe use it in a future build or I could put it back on the 34 Ford in the future if I choose to. So it's not the end of this induction system. It's just a change of pace okay, to kind of spice things up here during our quarantine period. As promised, we're going to go for a ride in the 34 Ford pickup uh, with the newly installed tunnel ram. I've got the tripod securely anchored in the passenger side uh, area, so I'll put the camera on there and we're going to go for a little spin. Okay, let's start it up. Uh, flip on the fuel pump, the ignition. Start than you expected,
on, gang. We're about to cross the Silvery Rio Grande. Yes, sir. Home sweet home. Well, looks like we made it home in one piece. Thought I'd do a quick walk around here of the car we were riding in. Kind of a small bed. We can't get all of our quarantine groceries in there, all our toilet paper. Yellow tinted windows, just like they did in the old days. Bomber seats. I think it's a 57 Plymouth steering wheel, we decided. I got some new handles. thought they were really pretty. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you'll stay tuned for future videos and other surprises. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.